and welcome once again fellow girls, guys and gaming fans. This is Small Archangel welcoming you to another episode of Conan Exiles. If you watched the last one you'll know we managed to finally place our fire pit and we've got some stone brick foundations here which I'm gradually adding to in my off camera moments. Basically we've got all of our uh, crafting stations or the important ones going full time permanently uh, including the, the, now this uh, cauldron which is crafting steel fire for us but we can also make ourselves some ambrosia potions and actually that is what we're going to do. We need a chest still to place there. Oh now what's he after? It's an antelope, man. You see, this is why I quite like the fact that he can't get off the foundation. Because he doesn't aggro at every antelope that comes along. We really don't need uh, that aggravation to deal with as well. So, uh, we want to make some ambrosia because the plan we have got today yeah. is we are going to go and... Uh, we're going to go caving. We are going to go caving and something tells me we are probably going to need some potions. Now I've got one ambrosia potion already but I think, I'm not sure if we still have an issue with uh, ambrosia potions in single player sort of despawning themselves uh, but we may possibly have, I don't know. We shall find out however because I'm going to make some more. We're going to take this one with us uh, and we're going to make some more. So I'm just going to plop that in there for the moment. Uh, we're going to, yes, we want those to make uh, craft as a priority over uh, the steel fire. I will take the steel fire from here and meanwhile, basically, a lot of micromanagement goes off on off camera. I am basically putting steel fire in here and making sure this stays fed so it can make steel and it can make iron as well. Uh, we can you see I've already got iron, four iron bars in there at the moment. Meanwhile we obviously have some uh, things coming through our blacksmith's forge as well. I have taken the liberty of making myself an iron poniard because our stone dagger is a bit rubbish really. There we go. Our falcata uh, and what I find at the moment, I find that the steel weapons are really very expensive for what they are. Oh, I'm going to take these out of here, actually. There we go. And maybe that will give us uh, the op opportunity to just place these things that we're not currently using in there. The shields I find really frustrating because they break after about two hits, even the metal ones, which seems unrealistic to me. The steel weapons and tools I also find frustrating because they seem to break really quickly as well. Our Falcata Fal 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 there actually needs... Uh, repairing and it costs an awful lot of steel to repair it. I'm wanting the steel armor first and foremost, I think. Uh, I'm going to place these branches in here because that's where they really need to go and that saves us a bit of storage capacity then. There we are. Okay, so I've got myself a little, a little iron dagger which means that uh, we're going to be able to perhaps we're going to have something a bit better durability there but for the moment we're going to stick with our iron pike as our primary weapon we are going to take some iron with us uh, some iron bars with us so that we can repair stuff up as we go so i'm going to take some of those and we're going to take some leather of course uh, i don't know how much leather we're likely to need actually possibly more than that but probably not as much as that i'm not sure if i can even split a stack however but we could probably get a few from here as well oh 78 i don't think we're going to need that much either also i've noticed reptile hide hmm reptile hide that's what we get off crocodiles now i don't know what that actually really means but uh yeah uh, it's kind of uh, a new thing, I think. Uh, maybe that will turn into thick hide. I'm not absolutely sure. So, uh, so there we go. So we've got some stuff to repair our weapons and our armor. Uh, we're fully repaired at the moment. Actually, that one's not, is it? There it is now. There we go. And we're going to get some. We're going to get some uh, some more ambrosia potions here as well. Now I've got two there. How many do we reckon we're going to need? Let's just make one more and then. We'll go back to the steel fire uh, and I'll save the rest. There we are. I'm sorry I said uh, Ambrosia potions. I know Ambrosia potions bug out, but in point of fact, yes, it's uh, 
We'll just leave those there, I think. Uh, it's not Ambrosia potions I'm talking about. It's Aloe potions. Uh, and they do bug out. I know they do because we made about four before. And uh, when I came back into the game, we only had one. So there's a couple of things we're going to do before we go. Oh, let's just, let's just repair my torch as well, shall we? Because it's going to be dark by the time we come back. Oh, they're not in there, are they? Actually, at the moment, we need more storage. Obviously, we're going to need more storage capacity. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we've got this here now, so we'll just... Oh, we need coal, don't we? We need coal as well for that. Ah! Oh! Well, I don't know how much coal we're going to need, but there you go. So let's just see. Can I repair that torch, please? Repair that torch. Okay, then put stuff back in here. There we are. Currently making lots of meat here uh, for our thrall. Now, I understand that if you, you cook... And you put exotic meat in here it can speed up the process but we don't have any exotic meat because we haven't uh sort of uh i think that's higher tier uh creatures like uh, rhino elephants things like that so we might look into doing that later on to try and um speed up the crafting the thrall breaking process the other thing we want though is a larger wheel of pain but you know, as I've said before, that's going to have to wait till we've got enough re iron reinforcements to make one. The other thing we can do, of course, is get ourselves a thrall, a uh, taskmaster thrall, to speed that up. But again, that's going to take more thrall breaking uh, capacity than we currently have. We have got a Stygian fighter who isn't even halfway there yet. So we're just going to leave him cooking, as it were. And then the one other thing that I want to do before we set off is... Oops. We are going to reset our attributes because uh, I had quite a lot in, ag uh, not agility, uh, accuracy, and we are not currently using archery, partly because it's pants, in my opinion, uh, in this game at the moment, and, and partly, mainly, because uh, the arrows just reset to a single arrow, no matter how many you have each time, which means it's no, there's just no point in crafting the flaming things. Also, I had a load in survival, and I'm really not sure that we need them uh, in there because it affects how easily you metabolize food. Well, I've always got more food than, you know, my food always goes off before I eat it so uh, we can reset these anytime we like anyway so uh, I'm going to put my key attributes up to 20 uh, strength and vitality are definitely definitely a must for 20 grit is our stamina pool and I think we want 20 there as well and we probably want 20 in encumbrance as well because uh, 20 there we go uh, because yeah Weight carrying capacity. Whoops, there we are. Uh, agility is our ability to move when different armor types. Okay, we're going to put 20 in that as well. 20, there we go. And now we've got 25 skill points left. So we, strength is our melee ability. So we will just upgrade that to 21. Uh, vitality, yes, that's our health. Yes, thank you very much. We'll definitely do that. Stamina, we definitely want lots of stamina. Encumbrance. I'm not so sure about. Uh, we've got 10 points now, so maybe we'll put some more in. Uh, let's see, what should we put it in? Health, I think, probably is best. And possibly either stamina or strength. Encumbrance. Mm, either stamina or strength, I think. Which way shall we go? Let's go strength. There we go. Uh, in any case, we can uh, we can upgrade all this stuff as often as we like, uh, so we can kind of keep tweaking our ca our character uh, stats until we feel like we've got them uh, where we want them to be. And hopefully, at some point, we'll get the option as well to be able to um, level our characters up further. Um, currently, the um, the cap, the level cap is 50, uh, but maybe at some point it's going to go down, you know, we're going to be able to put it up to 100 or, or, you know, just somewhere in between. I don't know. Oh, yellow flowers. We definitely want to grab some of these while we're about it because we can make, uh, uh, is it Ambrosia potion we make that? Just yellow lotus potion. Uh, I'm not sure what it does. The other thing, we might be able to make dye with them as well. I'm not absolutely sure. I haven't quite looked into uh, what we make dyes out of just yet. So... Uh, we're going to collect a few of those en route, maybe. But where we are going, 
Let me just make sure I haven't got a hyena up my rear end first. We have not. Check out the map. So I don't know if you guys can see my my um, cursor on here. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to head for a, a cave that I know is roughly in this location down here. Which is a spider cave. Now I want to get some spiders. Uh, Ica. Because I want to be able to make candles and more lighting for our base. Because our, our base is a little bit on the dark side. Plus once we start building our base up and that their living quarters and things. We want perhaps some more refined lighting options. So I want to gather some Ica. There might be some other things we can make with Ica as well. I don't know. And I also just want to do a bit of exploring and a little bit of fighting and all of that good stuff. So, uh, so we're heading for just beyond the bend of the river I believe. We're just going to follow the river around here. And it's kind of there-ish. Um, and uh, yeah I want to do with more of this kind of uh, more of this kind of exploring plus uh, fighting plus you know sort of thing we can't level up anymore as I say but hopefully before too much longer we'll be able to uh, we want to be on this side of the river I think hopefully before too much longer we're going to be able to uh, craft ourselves some steel armor that is what I am going to Ooh, more, more yellow lotus that's what I'm going to save up my steel for at this point. Oh, here we go. We have company. Oh, hello. I actually meant this. Thank you. Has he popped out? Looks like it. Doesn't it? There we go. He's dead now. Yeah, the other one's coming after us now as well, isn't it? See, at this rate, I am going to try mostly to avoid aggro. Oh, hello. Yes, we definitely want to definitely want that too for the same reason and it's not very heavy so oh my goodness we do not want a face full rhino definitely not so I'll go over here we're going to avoid aggro because I want to save the durability of my weapons and armor uh, until we get to where we're going and that means I'm going to ignore you as well little troll type creature because that's just completely and utterly oh good grief whatever no, I'm not bothered about that troll. They're rubbish. Oh, pick up the blooming aloe! For some reason, it bugs out sometimes and you can't actually pick up what you're aiming to pick up. Oh, do you know what? We're just going to have to pick up these. Just, they just follow you across the map. There we go. We've one-shotted them, which is excellent. There's a crocodile that was following us as well. See, this is the thing. You end up with the entire contents of the map following you. So uh, we'll just keep going. I'm not interested in their hide at the moment. I get plenty of, plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, interested uh, parties back at base that we can skin for hides, and we've got loads of hides at the moment. To be honest, at the moment, what we're really suffering from at base is uh, lack of storage capacity, uh, and that is just something we're gonna until we can get ourselves a blacksmith thrall, make more uh, iron reinforcements, and craft ourselves. Oh, there's an NPC camp there again kind of wanting to avoid that aggro if at all possible at the moment just because I don't want my weapons to be knackered before I even get there now I don't know what anybody else thinks about this game but to me it seems as if the steel weapons have no more durability than the iron ones I seem to have to uh, re repair my falcata quite no no we don't want to go that way quite as often I s this thank you quite as often as uh, I have to repair my, uh, oh my. Now, is it going to kill me jumping off there? We better not risk it, had we really? Somebody's firing arrows at me. Yes, I noticed that. So let's just get out of the way. I'd rather jump off a cliff because, bizarrely, we actually don't die if we jump off a cliff, whereas if I go over the waterfall, I'm not sure what happens. Uh, so we'll go this away. Uh, oh, what are these? I've not seen this before. Grey flower lupine grey flower lupine okay I have no idea what that is or what we do with it but we're going to try it some, something out with that when we get back to base now oh my words Woo, you see I'm fine I'm absolutely fine whereas if I'd gone over the waterfall I'm really not sure now I think I think our cave is across the other side there I'll just equip this because there's, there's kind of like a turtle beast over there uh, I'm not I'm going to try not to uh, get on the wrong side of him because I think where we need to be is up here. Ah, now that actually is the NPC camp, isn't it? So I'm not sure we want to be there exactly. So let's just carry on in this direction for now. 
Oh, look at that. I can even pick up flowers when I'm... When I'm holding a pipe, which is also... Oh, there's a crocodile there. I'm just going to ignore him and just carry on regardless because they do stop. Oh, there's some more. There's some more NPCs there. Again, going to ignore them. Here we go. Or should I? Because actually, this might be where the cave is. <laughs> Die! Witch! They're fairly... They're fairly... Oh, there we go. They're all dead. Oh, and there's a blooming crocodile as well. Do I really have to kill all these creatures there we go well we did we killed them all uh there's a blooming rhino i really don't want to aggro on him oh there's an antelope that's dead there as well all right is there oops yes yeah, 17 stone you see not bothered i am not bothered about your stone not really okay so this may possibly 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 be the cave up here oh there's a ghost that's the second ghost we've seen. And he just keeled over dead in front of us. This is not a great sign, I have to say. Uh, let's just see if we can repair this. Oh, crap! And that's probably what he died of. Die! Woohoo! There we go. We have one dead spider already. Let's see if we can harvest that. Gossamer. Nice. Ica. Just the stuff. So I'm assuming... Oh, my word. We are going to have to drop an awful lot of this. Let's just do that. Uh, because otherwise we're going to be entirely filled up with feral flesh, which we don't want. But gossamer, I'm assuming we're going to be able to make silk with that. Let's see, silk. Hey, look at that, we can craft some. And ichor, we can't make anything with yet. But again, as I say, that is going to be good for making uh, some candles and stuff with. Now, it might be a bit dark in here. With the pike, we can't really see. So I'm sorry if it's kind of... Because I can't hold my torch and my pike at the same time. So that is a limitation of the pike. I must have missed that spider then. Ah, oh, crap. Holy crap. There's actually loads of them. And of course, I think spiders actually affect your stamina and your ability to move because they're... Oh my gosh, I can't see what's going on. Sorry about this. I will light my torch as soon as I can see again. Oh, what the heck? I can't see which one's attacking me because of all the corpses. Oh my word. Okay. Let's have an axe on the subject. No, an axe. Axe. Oh my goodness me. Right, let's loot these corpses. I'm sure there'll be more spiders through there. But I just want to loot some of these corpses. The spiders that we've just killed will respawn as well. Oh, here we go again. So I'm going to have to keep moving into the cave. Because otherwise we'll have spiders respawning before we even get a chance to kill them all. There are lights up ahead. So hopefully... Just die! Oh my gosh. They're poisonous. Okay, these guys are actually quite nasty. Just die! They're not killing me, but there's tons of them. And I can't really see... Okay, I can see better now. Just die, pal. Die. 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 Oh, there's one behind me as well. Where did you come from? And I can't move very fast. They're debuffing me. Oh my gosh, there's millions. Am I... Are you just respawning around me all the time, constantly, you little beggars? Sounds like it to me. Just die. How many of you? Oh my gosh, I'm being spammed by these guys. Beginning to wish there was more of me. I'm going to be the whole damn tribe to take care of all these spiders. Wow, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Will you just... I've got virtually no stamina. Oh, good grief. This is madness. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get all of these. Right, let's just take a potion. I could do with a stamina potion. Never mind anything else. But I have a feeling these things are just respawning. And I wish I could turn off blood splatters because I honestly can't see because of the, the fact that it's dark plus the fact that there's just blood splatters all over the screen means that I can't see a thing. And my my bike's about dead as well. I really need to repair it. Repair! Please! Okay, I don't know if I'm actually going to get any further into the cave than this because there's just endless damn spiders. 
there seems like there should be an end to them, but there just isn't. Die! And there is... Oh my goodness! There's just no end to them! And there goes my helmet. Yeah, there's no end to them. They just keep coming forever, I think. There, that one's dead. How many of them we actually got? We see there's loads of them. There are absolutely loads of them. You know what? I don't think so. I think we're going to have to escape because they just keep respawning. They just keep respawning. And the ones I've killed through here have now respawned. And they're all on me again as well. So I'm just going to get the hell out of here before I'm naked and have absolutely no armor left. I'm out of stamina. See, they've had my boots. They're gone too. So I'm going to have to leave. There's nothing else I could do. They're going to come after me anyway. But at least I can see what I'm doing here. And at least if I kill them, they won't respawn. Because they'll respawn back in the cave. Die! Die, 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 die. So I'll kill these ones. There we go. And then, finally, look at the state of this. This is all broken. Repair that. Repair that. Oh my god, there's another one now. This is ridiculous. Will you just get out of my face? And their attack, unfortunately, steals your stamina completely. So, where is the rest of my armor? Repair. Repair. Need more iron bars. Oh my gosh, we've run out of iron bars. Good lord, that is crazy. Right, in that case, I am definitely getting out of here because I've got to go home with no shoes on. And no helmet. And no gauntlets because they're all broken. So I'm just going to take as much of this as I can from these guys. And then we'll get as much spider silk as we can. As much ichor as we can. And then we just got to get our sorry hides home. And remember the next time we come here, we need a ton more people with us. Which is not really possible. Unless we, you know, unless I try and get us up. Oh, there, they've all gone. All the bodies have gone. We're getting out of here now. Woo! There we go. Okay. So, I can't repair any more stuff up. And, I've got so much feral flesh on me, that it's untrue. So, I'm just going to drop a load of that before we go any further. We're going to drop all of that, because it's just a complete waste of... There, it's just a complete waste of, of uh, carry capacity. And it'll make... Ah, uh, we don't want... We want to keep that. Okay, and now... It's getting dark, so we have to get back to base as soon as possible, as quickly as possible. Hopefully before it gets dark, because we're not going to be able to see very well. Your stomach hurts. Why does my stomach hurt? Don't tell me it's because I'm hungry, right? Whatever. Whatever. Now, there's NPCs up here. But my plan is just to run, quite frankly, because I really can't be bothered taking on any more at this point. Because I can't repair any of my stuff up, so we're just basically, yeah, 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 whatever, 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 do I look bothered, whatever, bye. I'm just going to run, because we just need to basically get up to the top of the waterfall there, and if I just keep running... They should get bored and go away eventually. So, but that, it was a, it was a successful mission from the point of view of we didn't manage to get all the way into the cave. It looks from the ghost like we might have some, uh, some notes to, uh, to, uh, collect from that actually, which would be good. But we didn't have the opportunity. Now that's done all of that, hasn't it? So let's turn that off and we can place that back into, into here there we go because he's kind of running out isn't he there we are and how's he doing he's still not halfway oh my word maybe i'd be better off with gruel in there because he's kind of just wasting all my fuel at the moment but uh okay let's see shall we see it's not very light in here in spite of the fact that we've got lots of uh lots and lots of lights in here so i'm going to place that aloe extract back in there uh, and because, in fact, I'll put it with my personal equipment, which is kind of there. Uh, and then we've got lots of ichor, and we've got those that we need to repair. We've got some more hides there as well. Got lots of these, which I'll place... And now I've got that as well. 
I actually want to drop that, but uh, never mind. I will put that in our fire. We've got 165 ichor, and we've got 160 gossamer, which is nice. And we've also got some grey flower lupine. I don't know what we do with that. Oh, it's used to dye clothing. Fantastic. Those apparently aren't, but at least we've got one thing that we could use to dye things with. So, uh, bring on another chest, really, because we're going to need to place all of this in there. Uh, but for the moment, let's just see if we can learn a recipe for lighting or candles, because that was kind of the point of this. Sh Chandler, there we go. There we are. Chandler. Um, and for these, there's a black candle a white candle and a candle stub and we need ichor and we need twine for all of those so we're going to need these candles because we're going to use those to light up our new our new bit of base which is going to be our kitchen and dining area maybe uh, and maybe there's also some recipes that we can learn uh, for wall lights and things fire maker stygian brazier you see that would be quite cool and standing torches that would be quite cool as well, actually, because I'm not all that impressed with the uh, with the lighting options that we currently have. So we might well learn that as well. Let's just see if there's any more, even more advanced ones. Doesn't look like it, so we'll learn that as well. So what do we need for a Stygian brazier? Bone! Aha! I knew there was a reason I was collecting all that bone. So we can actually make one of those right now. But I think we won't bother, but we will put some of those in our uh, other the other parts of our base. Torch and branch will make standing torches. So that's nice as well. So I think we'll probably put some of those around the joint. But for now, what I really, really need to do is repair up my armour. Because it's completely and utterly trashed. So here we go. Uh, let's repair this and then put it on my head we'll properly fully repair my tasset as well uh, we'll repair our gauntlets and our boots and we'll re-equip those two and yeah next time i think we're just gonna have to remember we need a lot more stuff to, to need, take a lot more stuff with us to repair we were all right for the leather but we needed a heck of a lot more iron so uh so there we go. Meantime, how are we doing in here for iron? We're making quite a lot. So that's good. We can take that and perhaps put that into our into our armourer there. And I wonder if there's something we can put, a thrall we can put into our furnace. Looks like we can put a thrall into our furnace, but I don't know what kind of uh, crafter thrall we need for a furnace. I'll look into that because it would be very good if we could uh, speed up that process as well. And we'll place our aloe in here as well. And then you see we're making 17 of those now. 17 aloe potions, which is going to be nice. And then I can test whether those disappear. I certainly hope that they will not disappear. Uh, so I will do a very controlled test on that because I don't want to lose them. Now, and then I think we'll put that into our furnace so that we can make some more steel but as i say at the moment not convinced that uh, steel weapons are really really worthwhile but armor does seem to have a higher durability and does seem to go down in durability rather less quickly how are we doing in here we've got 18 of those well they're pretty slow aren't they Okay, so as I say, that was not an entirely unsuccessful trip, but nonetheless, we have still got our work cut out for us here. I'm hoping that once we've got a full set of steel armor, we are going to be rather better uh, equipped against whatever enemies we encounter and there are some much much tougher ones out there uh like there are dragons in the game somewhere uh there are obviously i think it's sometimes it's just sheer strength of numbers that uh that can, we can find a kind of overwhelming and then there's all these big structures here which have there's npc villages and npc uh sort of settlements and things all hostile of course uh that we've got to check out as well so it was a successful trip in that we didn't die and we brought back some stuff but we didn't make it all the way into the cave and i think the only way we're going to be able to make it all the way into the cave is to be able to is to take enough stuff with us uh if there's any kind of potion that will restore stamina to us that's going to be a good thing to take into a spider cave too 
um, more repair uh, material materials and uh, yeah uh, otherwise I think the only thing we can really do is upgrade our armor and uh, see if that makes any difference as well so in the meantime guys i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did you know what to do hit that like button and let me know and uh also feel free as ever to leave some hints tips in the comments section there all gratefully received and i do hope you'll join me for the next episode of conan exiles uh when maybe we'll be doing a bit more base building maybe we'll be able to do a bit more thrall breaking i have no idea that rather depends on our progress uh but uh, i would like to be able to sort of get this place a little bit more finished i'm going to be carrying on doing some off-camera work so that we're not doing all the grind on camera and then we can do more of the fun stuff and we can see some more sort of progress on the base area so until next time guys keep gaming keep surviving and stay happy bye bye for now